Hello and welcome back. Derek, author and webmaster of Jamatronator.com here. This video is one half of a two-part series on Major League Baseball's perfect games, considered one of the most special and rarest achievements in pro sports. In the other video, I look at the players involved in the first few perfect games thrown and reveal how they are all coded by the numbers of Revelation and Eclipses, an eclipse being an event that's referenced in Revelation 6.12 and June 12th, or 6-12, was the date of the first ever perfect game. For those unaware, pro sports are scripted, and frequently players break character or act out of alignment with what's happening in the field. This explains how a man the players consider to be the best umpire in the game, Jim Joyce, could miss such an easy call, and why Armando Galarraga, who just missed his chance at having his name etched into baseball history, can't keep himself from grinning. It's a reaction called duping delight, one we've become all too familiar with as we've had to deal with the lies of actors in the mainstream media for quite some time now. To begin, let's quickly recap the other video. The English and Jewish gematria for Revelation is 121 and 1010. The first ever perfect game was tossed a span of 121 days before the date written 10 slash 10, which was the same day Elizabeth Christ Trump was born in 1880. The year has an 88 in the middle, and in the alphabetic order, Elizabeth and Trump both equal 88. She would later die on June 6th or 6-6, 1966, syncing up with her satanic gematria of 666. The man who threw that perfect game, John Lee Richmond, had matching English extended gematria with perfect game, 432, which is a number connected to 666. The number 144, which is mentioned four times in the book of Revelation, is the Jewish gematria of the word time. And the first 144 digits after the decimal in pi sum to 666. The first perfect game was thrown in 1880, which is 144 years before the second Great American Total Solar Eclipse. Richmond was 277 months and 7 days old when he threw his perfect game, and 2,777 is the 404th prime number. There are 404 verses in the book of Revelation. In Jewish gematria, Armando Galarraga equals 404. In fact, using prime numbers with the alphabetic order, Armando Galarraga also equals 404 in that cipher. This is something we call double gematria. Ever since this game ended, it was billed as the imperfect game. Imperfect game equals 121, matching the ordinal gematria of Revelation. Revelation is the 66th and final book of the Bible. The first name, Armando, equals 66, using the alphabetic order, and the last name, Galarraga, also sums to 66. And on the date of his game, where he came within one out of throwing a perfect game, he was 10,366 days old. Of course, the number of the beast is 666. Now, measuring from the date of this game to the date of the 2024 Great American Total Solar Eclipse is 166 months and 6 days. The number 66, when spelled out, has a reverse reduction value of 49 and is 149 in the alphabetic order. Revelation in reduction is 49 and in the reverse order, 149. Number of the Beast, what Revelation reveals, sums to 66 in reduction. The book reveals 666 as the number of a man, which is 66 reverse reduction. Now the 66th prime number is 317. And when you add up the ordinal gematria of Cleveland Indians and Detroit Tigers, the two teams who played in this game, it sums to 317. In Jewish gematria, when we drop this cipher down to an ordinal base, 66 equals 137, just like Mark of the Beast. This has also been billed as the near-perfect game, which has ordinal gematria of 137. Armando Galarraga's full name, 
Armando Antonio Galarraga Barreto, in full reduction, sums to 137. So does Cleveland Indians and Detroit Tigers in the same method. The date June 2nd in Jewish Gematria sums to 1037. Of course, in numerology, we drop those zeros, so that basically represents a 137. Measuring between the birthdays of Armando Galarraga and Jason Donald, the batter who reached base and ruined his perfect game, was a little over 137 weeks. 137 is the 33rd prime number, and 33 is connected to 66 in a number of ways. Of course, 33 times 2 equals 66, and when you write out the number 33, it sums to 66 in reduction gematria. 666 equals 156 English ordinal, just like the number 33 when spelled out. Cleveland and Tigers both summing to 33 in reduction, with the Jewish cipher reduced to a single digit, Detroit also sums to 33. In the book of Revelation, the number of the beast is written as 603 score and 6. This sums to 313 English ordinal. And with the reverse alphabetic order extended, Detroit, Michigan equals 3013. So perhaps it's no coincidence that its area code is 313. Measuring from the date of this game to the 2024 Great American Total Solar Eclipse is a little over 722 weeks. United States of America has this gematria using prime numbers, but measuring from this game to Armando Galarraga's next birthday was 227 days. This is the Hebrew gematria of Total Eclipse and the United States of America in ordinal. Of course, 22 divided by 7 gives you the first three digits of pi, it's the smallest equation to do so, and is an equation that's basically coded into the gematria of the English language. Now the moon in Jewish gematria sums to 283, and in the Hebrew language, the moon equals 223. Well, using the Jewish ordinal cipher, Armando Galarraga's full name sums to 283. And on the date of the 2024 solar eclipse, Armando Galarraga will be 2,203 weeks old. And in the other video, I mentioned how Lee Richmond, the guy who threw the first ever perfect game, was born 60,969 days before that same eclipse. And eclipse and circles equals 69, as well as John Lee in the English order. Armando Galarraga has a gematria value of 132, 66 plus 66. The first great American total solar eclipse, which occurred here in 2017, was on the date August 21st, which leaves 132 days left in the year. United States of America equals 132, reverse reduction. And on the date of the 2017 total solar eclipse, Armando Galarraga was exactly 13,000 and two days old. Also in the other video, I mentioned all these matches with Cy Young and 5'11". His career lasted 1,105 weeks. He was born in a town with 511 gematria and retired with 511 wins. This is, of course, the Jewish gematria of the planet Saturn. Armando Galarraga's full name in the reverse order equals 511. And his birthday falls on the date January 15th, or 1 slash 15, like 511 inversed. From the date of this game, the imperfect game, to the date that Armando Galarraga hung up his boots and retired, was a little over 115 weeks. Of course, 11 times 5 is 55, and that's the number I began the other video with. Revelation in Hebrew gematria, using the ordinal base, sums to 70, and using English characters, it sums to 119 using the Jewish order. Well, Detroit Tigers sums to 70, reduction, Indians equals 70, ordinal. Indians in the reverse order sums to 119. Detroit Tigers also has this gematria in reverse reduction with the master number exceptions. The date of the game, June 2nd, equals 119 in the Jewish order also. In the reverse order, Revelation equals 149. 
This matches the value of Comerica in the same cipher. That was the name of the ballpark where this game was played. Comerica Park equals 113. Using triangular numbers, a cipher called trigonal, Revelation equals 1013. The number 404, when spelled out, has a Jewish gematria of 1013. Remember, that's how many chapters are in the book of Revelation. So this brings us to the umpire who ruined the game for Armando Galarraga. So this game occurred in the year 2010, and I mentioned earlier how Revelation has a gematria of 1010. And think about his initials, JJ. J is the 10th letter, so JJ is like 1010. Revelation 10.10 is the 174th verse of the book. This matches the gematria of Number of the Beast. And measuring from the date of this game to the date of Jim Joyce's next birthday was 17 weeks and 4 days. Jim Joyce was born in the year 55, and 55 is a number connected through Revelation based on its relationship to the Fibonacci and triangular number sequences. It's the tenth of each. Revelation in Hebrew reduction sums to 25, and on the date of the 2024 Great American Total Solar Eclipse, Jim Joyce is going to be 25,025 days old. Now the number 666 is the 36th triangular number, and Jim Joyce in reduction equals 36. And look at this, he used to wear number 66 for Major League Baseball as an umpire, and then he changed it to number 6 when he moved to the American League. Well, on the date of this game, the imperfect game, Jim Joyce was 19,966 days old, so you got a 66 in there and an upside-down 66. All a coincidence, I'm sure. Now, notice also how he's got this three after his name, he's the third, so he's got three I's at the end. Well, I is the ninth letter, so this is a lot like another upside down 666. And if you think that's another coincidence, in reverse satanic gematria, James Alfred Joyce III equals 999. Jim Joyce retired uh, on the date February 22nd, 2017, just this past year. And that's the date written 2 slash 22. In English gematria, eclipse equals 222. And on the date that he retired, Jim Joyce was 3,203 weeks and 2 days old. The word circle equals 32 in reduction. And you may recall from the other video, Lee Richmond, who threw the first ever perfect game, finished his last year in college right after throwing that game, and he finished with a record of 32 and 32. This brings us to Jason Donald, who broke up the perfect game by making it to first base safely. His full name in reduction is 59, matching the ordinal gematria value of Jason. Revelation in reverse reduction sums to 59. In regular reduction, it sums to 49. And his birthday, written September 4th, can be written 4 slash 9. In the U.S., this date is written 9 slash 4. Jason Thomas Donald, in reverse reduction, sums to 94, and from the date of this game to the date of his next birthday was 94 days. The name Donald has gematria of 149, like we saw in Revelation, and it's certainly no coincidence that our current president, Donald Trump, also has this name. 149 is the 35th prime number. Jason Donald was born on a date with 35 numerology, that's his life lesson number. His birthday also had numerology of 25 and 97, 97 being the 25th prime. And as we just saw, Revelation sums to 25 in Hebrew reduction. Now on the date of this game, Jason Donald was 25 years old. Armando Galarraga was also 25 when he made his debut. And notice how he's 271 days after his birthday. 271 is the 58th prime number. Galarraga wore number 58 during this game. The final verse of Revelation is 2221. 2221 is the 331st prime number. Jason Donald, using prime numbers, sums to 331.
His name also sums to 216 in Frank Baconis. This is the product of 6 times 6 times 6. He made his Major League debut on the date May 18th. This date can be written 18 slash 5. This matches his ordinal gematria, Jason Thomas Donald, sums to 185. This is also the date that leaves 227 days in the year. And measuring from the date that he first took the field to the date of this game was 15 days. This was also his 15th major league game. Now, 15 is a number that's associated with the devil. In the tarot, the devil card is 15, and O is the 15th letter of the alphabet, the circle being the mark of the beast. 15 days equals 227 in Frank Baconis, but in Jewish gematria, it sums to 666. This brings us to coach Jim Leland, who was on the bench for the Tigers during the game. He was born in the year 44. Again, the Hebrew word for circle is 44 ordinal. When you write out 44, it sums to 144, like Mark of the Beast. And if you multiply all of the digits in Jim Leland's birthday, you get 1,440. His full name, James Richard Leland, using triangular numbers, equals 1,404. James Richard Leland, in the reverse order, equals 331. Remember from the last slide, the 331st prime number is 2221, the last verse of Revelation. Now, during this game, Jim Leland was aged 65 years old. He was also 169 days after his birthday. The square root of 169 is 13. And this game came 10 years prior to the 130th anniversary of the first ever perfect game. Now, the 65th prime number is 313. We saw this before. It's the ordinal value of 603 score and 6. And 65 is the reduction value of Anita Sideris, which is the Greek word for the metonic cycle. Jim Leland was born in Perrysburg. Perrysburg sums to 59, 149, and 121. Three numbers that show up in the regular gematria of Revelation. Cleveland manager Manny Acta was on the bench for this game on the other side. Manny Acta has double gematria of 144, well, his name in Francis Bacon, and then his full name in the Kabbalah. And a recurring theme, a lot of 999s in addition to these 666s that I've been revealing. His full name using square numbers sums to 1,999. As we saw earlier, the moon in Hebrew sums to 223. His full name in secondary Kabbalah is 223, and he was 223 days before his next birthday. Acta was born in the year 69. Again, eclipse equals 69. So does the word pi in Jewish gematria. His full name, using reduction and ordinal, sums to 47 and 137. This is the same as total eclipse. And in the other video, I mentioned how the Cleveland Blues, they were the first team to ever have a no-hitter thrown against them. And Cleveland Blues equals 47 and 137. This name also sums to 130, Jewish ordinal, the same as total eclipse. And as I said, this game was almost exactly 130 years after the first ever perfect game. With that, I'll go ahead and wrap this video up. There's so much more about this game and the first perfect game. For instance, the guy who threw the first perfect game, the date that he made his debut, it was the Jesuit Order's 339th birthday. 339 found within the gematria of United States of America and 603 score and 6. See how 603 score and 6 is capitalized here within the King James Version? I think that's significant. Of course, Jesuit order sums to 1223 Jewish just like 603 score and 6 in Satanic. And the Society of Jesus has that circle for their logo. And I keep saying circle is the mark of the beast. So instead of making another video on that, I'll probably wind up saving this discussion for my next live stream. And if I do that, I'll be sure to link that stream in the description below this video so you can see more. Thanks for watching, Truth Seeker. Until next time.